Whatever has happened to you, it has already happened. The important question is, how are you going to handle it? We often find ourselves lost in the maze of our own minds, constantly planning for the future or ruminating over the past. Give yourself permission to allow this moment to be exactly as it is, and allow yourself to be exactly as you are. We become so preoccupied with what has been or what might be that we forget to appreciate the here and now. Today we dive into, Wherever You Go, There You Are, Mindfulness Meditation in Everyday Life by John Kabat-Zinn. This literature gem from 1994 is a not-fiction, self-help, psychology, Buddhism, and personal development guide to maps out a simple path for cultivating mindfulness in one's own life. It speaks both to those coming to meditation for the first time and to long-time practitioners, anyone who cares deeply about reclaiming the richness of his or her moments. Welcome back to The Book Fox Summaries, bringing literature to life one summary at the time. So grab a kappa, get comfy, and join us on this incredible journey through the world of literature. The present moment is all we truly have. It's the only time we can experience life directly. The past is gone and the future is yet to come. All we have is this very moment. And it's in this moment that we can find true peace and contentment. This is the essence of mindfulness. Mindfulness is about being fully engaged with whatever we're doing, with a sense of curiosity and openness. It's about bringing our attention back to the present moment over and over again, without judgment. It's about waking up to your life, right here, right now. When we practice mindfulness, we become more aware of our thoughts, feelings, and sensations. We learn to observe them without getting caught up in them, allowing us to respond more skillfully to whatever arises. Wherever you go, there you are, is a guide to cultivating mindfulness in everyday life. It offers practical advice and exercises to help you develop a mindfulness practice no matter where you are or what you're doing. It's about paying attention to your thoughts, feelings, and sensations without judgment. By doing so, we can gain a deeper understanding of ourselves and our experiences. This self-awareness is the foundation of personal growth and transformation. This book offers a path to greater peace, clarity, and freedom. Through mindfulness, we can learn to let go of the mental clutter that weighs us down and find a sense of inner calm. We can cultivate a more compassionate and accepting attitude towards ourselves and others. We can all benefit from incorporating mindfulness into our lives, whether it's through meditation, mindful walking, or simply paying more attention to our daily activities Mindfulness can help us live more fully and authentically. Mindfulness isn't about emptying your mind. It's a common misconception that mindfulness means having no thoughts at all. In reality, it's about noticing your thoughts without getting swept away by them. It's about creating a space between stimulus and response. It's about becoming aware of its contents. By observing our thoughts, we can see patterns and habits that may not serve us well. This awareness gives us the power to change our relationship with our thoughts and emotions. When you become more aware you can choose how to respond to your thoughts and feelings. Instead of reacting impulsively, you can pause, reflect, and make more intentional choices. This can lead to more positive outcomes in all areas of your life. This awareness is key to breaking free from negative patterns. By recognizing and understanding our habitual reactions, we can begin to change them. We can develop healthier, more constructive ways of dealing with challenges and stress. It empowers you to live with greater intention and purpose. Mindfulness helps us align our actions with our values and goals. It encourages us to live more deliberately, making choices that reflect our true selves and lead to a more fulfilling life. The present moment is where life unfolds. It's easy to get caught up in regrets about yesterday or anxieties about tomorrow, but the truth is, we can only truly live in the now. When you focus your attention on the present, you experience life more fully. One of the most powerful ways to practice mindfulness is through meditation. Meditation is the only intentional, systematic human activity which at bottom is about not trying to improve yourself or get anywhere else, but simply to realize where you already are. With regular practice, meditation helps you develop a greater sense of awareness. You become more attuned to your inner world. This awareness extends beyond your meditation practice. You start to notice the simple joys in everyday life. The taste of your morning coffee, the warmth of the sun on your skin. These small moments become more precious. Life is full of ups and downs. It's easy to get caught up in the challenges and lose sight of the good, but mindfulness teaches us to embrace all of it. When you approach life's experiences with mindfulness, you discover a wellspring of resilience. Challenges become opportunities for growth. Difficulties are not roadblocks but stepping stones. This shift in perspective can be transformative. 
It allows you to navigate life's complexities with greater ease and grace. Mindfulness isn't about being positive all the time. It's about being present with whatever arises, whether it's pleasant or unpleasant. When you can be with your experience without judgment, you create space for healing and transformation. In today's fast-paced world, multitasking has become the norm. We pride ourselves on juggling multiple tasks at once. But the truth is, our brains aren't wired for it. When you try to do too many things at once, you end up doing none of them well. Mindfulness teaches us the power of single tasking. When you focus on one task at a time, you bring your full attention to it. This not only improves the quality of your work, but also enhances your enjoyment of it. The next time you find yourself feeling overwhelmed, try focusing on just one thing. Give it your undivided attention. You'll be surprised at how much more you accomplish and how much more satisfied you feel. Emotions are like waves. They ebb and flow. Sometimes they're gentle ripples and other times they're crashing waves. Mindfulness teaches us to ride these waves without getting swept away. When you can observe your emotions without judgment, you gain a sense of perspective. You realize that your emotions don't define you. They're simply passing states of mind. This realization can be incredibly liberating. It allows you to experience your emotions fully without being controlled by them. The next time you're feeling overwhelmed by a strong emotion, try this. Pause for a moment and simply notice the emotion. Don't try to change it or push it away. Just observe it with curiosity and kindness. You might be surprised at how quickly it begins to dissipate. One of the greatest obstacles to inner peace is resistance. We resist our thoughts, our feelings, and our circumstances. But the more we resist, the more we suffer. Acceptance, on the other hand, is about embracing reality as it is. It's about acknowledging what is true in this moment without judgment. Acceptance doesn't mean you have to like or approve of what's happening. It simply means you're willing to see things as they are. When you practice acceptance, you create space for peace to enter your life. You stop fighting against reality and start flowing with it. This doesn't mean you become passive or give up on your goals. It simply means you approach life with a greater sense of ease and openness. In a world filled with distractions, truly listening to another person has become a rare gift. Mindful communication is about being fully present with the person you're speaking to. It's about listening with your whole being, not just your ears. When you listen mindfully, you create a space of deep connection and understanding. You let go of your own agenda and open yourself to the other person's perspective. The next time you're having a conversation, try practicing mindful listening. Put away your phone, silence your thoughts, and give the other person your undivided attention. You'll be amazed at how much richer and more meaningful your interactions become. Our modern world is a whirlwind of activity. We're constantly bombarded with information, stimulation, and demands on our time. It's no wonder so many of us feel stressed, overwhelmed, and disconnected. Mindfulness offers a path to finding stillness amidst the chaos. It's about creating space for yourself to simply be. Perhaps the most spiritual thing any of us can do is simply to look through our own eyes, see with eyes of wholeness, and act with integrity and kindness. The key is to find activities that help you slow down, tune into your senses, and connect with the present moment. Even a few minutes of stillness each day can make a world of difference. Mindfulness isn't a destination, it's a journey. It's a lifelong practice of cultivating awareness, presence, and compassion. The good news is, you don't need any special equipment or training to begin. You can start right now, in this very moment. Simply pause for a moment and bring your attention to your breath. Notice the rise and fall of your chest as you inhale and exhale. This simple act of paying attention to your breath is a powerful mindfulness practice. You can do it anytime, anywhere to anchor yourself to the present moment. As you continue to cultivate mindfulness in your life, you'll discover its transformative power. You'll begin to experience greater peace, clarity and joy in every aspect of your life. Before we go, we ask for your help. Please subscribe to our channel. With your subscription, you are encouraged us to create more summaries, comments and recommendations are welcome. Hit the like button, share with friends and turn on notifications to stay in the loop. See you next time.